Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new up in this place, my name is Ntoni Ngomani. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for clicking on this video and watching again. I just want to say thank you guys so much on the last video when I was venting <laughs> and talking about just how um, things have stayed the same for me, you know, with the job that I do and just sharing a bit of the challenges and my thoughts that I had in the, pri in the previous week. A lot of people received um, that video so well. A lot of people were commenting that they have experienced the same things, especially people who have moved abroad. And there were one or two people who are like, you know what, I have considered moving abroad, but now I'm thinking about it more clearly because of that video. So I just want to say thank you for your engagement. And yeah, I keep doing what you guys do. I really love to see the engagement on there. So thank you guys so much. Um, getting on to today i just want to say before i start the video that at the time of shooting this video i'm looking at it from my phone right now at the time of shooting this video we are on 6666 subscribers and i just want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed if you're watching this video you haven't subscribed i applaud you to please consider subscribing it is absolutely free and you can help us grow the channel the goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by 31 december 2022 so i need you guys to help me get there i i need like 3,334 people to subscribe to this channel between now and 31 december and we can hit 10k so please subscribe guys please share please um like and do all of those things to get the algorithm suggesting our videos to a lot more audience in today's video i want to talk about a concept that has been hitting tiktok by storm it has been just raging across corporate bbc news wrote an article about it bloomberg wrote an article about it and i just thought you know what guys we need to talk about this because it's hip it's happening right now and i just thought let me share my thoughts i don't know if you guys have heard of the concept um but i just thought let me share my my thoughts and hear what you guys have to say so leave me a comment down below and, and let me know what you think about this concept quiet quitting was basically um there was a viral uh, tiktok video that was done by a tiktoker an american tiktoker and the origins though of it are from china with the hashtag tang pin which basically means life flat um so don't go above don't go below just within the bounds you know what i mean i saw this and i'm like oh my god someone has picked up on this thing quiet quitting i equate to like um third year syndrome like you know if you're doing your articles and you're in your third year and especially now because it's like three months left for you to get signed off and i thought about that i'm like oh my god quiet quitting sounds a lot more like third year syndrome you know but before i go any further let me read you guys the definition of quiet quitting i am reading from the bbc website they wrote an article about it uh, maybe I'll leave the link to that article here. So, quiet quitting, right? Um, it means doing only what your job demands and nothing more. Quitting, doing anything extra. You still show up for work, but stay strictly within the boundaries of your job requirements. So no more helping out with additional tasks or checking emails outside of work. When I read this, especially the last part like checking emails outside of work i was like oh my god i have been quiet quitting my entire career <laughs> like of the two jobs that i've had i have probably been quiet quitting the whole time but let me let me explain why i say that because for me personally i don't check emails outside of work hours i never have and and even when i was still a trainee um, I didn't. I didn't check emails outside of work hours. If you send me an email on a Saturday, best believe I'm going to see that email on Monday morning at 9 o'clock. So I don't know if that is quiet quitting, but then that would mean I've been quiet quitting my entire career until now. Let's talk about whether I am for quiet quitting or I'm against quiet quitting. I am indifferent. I am indifferent. I think there are reasons um, for people to quiet quit. And I think there are also reasons for people not to quiet quit. And I think 
for both sides you know the reasons are valid um it depends on your circumstances um for some people they don't have to quiet quit because the environment that they're in actually nurtures them but for some people excuse me they have to zone out at some point because the environment is just not conducive for them let's go into the reasons right so my reasons i would say for quiet quitting so for you to do just your do your job description and i don't want to call it doing the bare minimum because the bare minimum for me or a lot of people associate bare minimum with mediocrity and i don't think it's mediocrity like if you say my job description is to test revenue and i come and i deliver the best quality work on testing revenue but i don't go over and above to test investment property you can't say that is mediocre it's not mediocrity it's what you said i should do i just decided to not do anything extra but it doesn't take away from the fact that i gave you the best quality work in testing revenue you know what i mean so i didn't do like sub minimal work on testing revenue no it was not the bare minimum i gave you the best work on that i just didn't go over and above and tested another account you know what i mean so for me i want to remove the the bare minimum word from the descript from the definition of quiet quitting because i don't think it's doing the bare minimum but anyway let's get on to let's let's continue with the reasons because i could go on and on so the reason um for quiet quitting for me number one is not getting recognition for your extra effort remember quiet quitting is you just doing your job description and nothing more right so if you're that person who had always done their job but you've gone over and above and you've helped with um, you know closing a deadline on the client you are not even planned on or you've helped um, um, with selling another product that is not within your portfolio or you've just just gone over and above to do something that was not expected of you but you're not getting recognition for that effort for me that is reason enough to just slow down and do what your job description says because nobody is giving you the recognition no one is saying oh hey i noticed you did this thank you that was showed so much initiative guys a, a recognition and not maybe i want to separate recognition from compensation but just somebody showing appreciation for your efforts it really goes a long way in in employee morale it really goes a long way um in 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 just affirming you as well that okay somebody can see that i'm actually putting in extra effort the second reason is not being compensated if you are working those hours on a saturday on a sunday on a holiday but every time you need to claim those hours there's always a reason to not give you the amount of time that you worked for me that is a no the third reason is being burnt out from all the extra effort that you keep taking on so being burnt out which leads to a life with no balance so no work-life balance because you are doing your normal job the one that they said this is what you're gonna do in your contract but you're also taking on additional work which now causes you to work on saturdays and sundays you're missing important family events you're missing birthdays you're missing anniversary celebrations that for me is reason enough to quiet quit especially because we live in a world where post pandemic we have even even through the pandemic we have now re realized how important our family is and how important it is to spend time with our loved ones and if you're in a job that takes that away from you um i i, I personally feel that that is reason enough for me to consider that you know to consider quiet quitting and just doing what i just need to do so that i can have time to spend with my loved ones outside of work and similarly there are also reasons um against quiet quitting because let's face it we are in the corporate space especially as young professionals as graduates who are moving into the the corporate space or the workforce that we are in a place where somebody has to make a decision about whether or not you get a raise about whether or not you get compensated or you get um are promoted 
right so the reasons against quiet quitting i would say number one it slows down your growth especially you're in a position where you're aiming for the next position so for instance i'm aiming for manager role right i it would make sense for me to take on a little bit of manager um uh, duties so maybe drawing up the budget maybe uh, uh managing the team managing the clients the partner um you know doing manage some managerial tasks to show that actually guys i can do managerial work so when promotions um at time come they can look at me and say oh you've taken initiative to do this and this and that therefore you can uh, be considered for um, um a promotion so for me i feel like if you're just doing what your job uh, description says you often miss opportunities for growth by just taking on one or more tasks that could grow you sometimes you don't take on the tasks for the compensation or the recognition you take them on for your personal development for you to get the new skill that you want it cannot be something that you want to learn and then you expect um, someone to compensate you for it so if it's a skill that you want to learn it's a good idea to go over and above your job to try to learn that skill the second thing is the reason against quiet quitting is that you can be overlooked for promotions or a raise like i've said if you're not taking initiative if you're not sure because unfortunately guys we live in a world where somebody has to consider you for a promotion based on how you perform now and not only within the bounds of your job description but also what else are you doing outside of your job what other initiatives are you taking so if you're in an environment that nurtures your growth i would say go over and above because if it's if it's a good environment you should be recognized for it and it will propel your growth into the next position and then the reason another the third reason against um quiet quitting would be you come across as slacking and you come across as slacking especially if you have gone over and above before and then you stopped because you were not being recognized for it you were not being compensated for it and then now you just do what you need to do you will be looked at and seen as slacking because you have now toned down on the tasks that you need to do so just be careful about that um but ultimately i think in in closing of this video is that if you are considering quiet quitting um it may be an indication that it's time to move on from your job like physically leave the organization or, or physically leave the space um you know because it 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 essentially means that there is something wrong if you're zoning out mentally from your job for me that is the number one indication that something has gone wrong and it's either you fix it with your employer or two you leave the space entirely to find a space that is more conducive for you for your needs for your mental health for your work life balance so yeah that's my take on this concept and that's my take on the whole thing let me know what you guys think about it and drop me a comment down below and let me know whether you are for quiet quitting or you're against quiet quitting or really what your stance is when it comes to that i love you guys i will see you guys in my next video please do not forget to subscribe to like and comment share this video with your friends and yeah let's grow the family i'll see you guys in my next video bye